It's your boy, Martin Negro here, coming at you in HD, full high def, which is how Martin Negro should be. I got my hair up, it's a sunny day, and guess what? I just dropped my wife off at the station. That's it, I just dropped her off. You know the other day we were picking her up? You remember that fateful day? We had to drive down through the residential estate, down through the diversion, it was a bit of a head fuck, I'm not gonna lie. Or well, today, ring road. We did the M32, we come down, we did the ring road. You can't go wrong with a good ring road. That's Martin Nagel's advice for you today. You can't go wrong with a good ring road. We're gonna be using that ring road in a minute to get back up onto the M32 for an incredibly brief duration before we get back onto the M4 back to our home country, back to God's country. Martin Nagel is yearning to be on that soft, welcoming soil once more. But here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. My brother, he's coming back over here later on to catch a band. He's music obsessed. He's crazy. Listens to music all the time. Nothing I've heard of. None of the greats. No Sinatra, no James Dean. Blows my mind. Blows my mind. He's coming back over here later. I offered him a lift. He said it was too early. Didn't want to be hanging around Bristol. Starts to give him ideas, you know? His head might fall off. He might start wearing colors. He might start changing his name. It's not so good for him, you know? It's not so good for him. Fine for some people, not so good for him. So I said, fair enough, fair enough. You go over later. You can take the car, you can go over later. So he's gonna borrow. Mercedes A-Class, C-Class, it's a C-Class. You know, C-Class, stay classy. Look at this, these three cars in front of me pass through a red light right now. It's not on, it's not good. The light's red, the guy wants to cross. It's a Sunday, who's in that much of a rush? Not me, not Martin Negro, that's for sure. So anyway, yeah, I'm in my 52 plate, C-Class, Mercedes, C220, estate diesel, 2.2 liter diesel engine. I don't know if it's a straight or a 2.2 or a flip-flop or what. But she's got a beautiful diesel engine under that hood cooking up that byproduct fossil fuels like no tomorrow to get me from A, B, C, D, wherever you want to go, you know? And I'll be driving this thing until either it or me is in the grave. You understand me? I don't need any of this electric car waffle bullshit being forced down my throat. If you're all about the electric car, you're a fucking mug. You hear me? You're a mug. You'd be telling me it's more environmentally friendly and ethical. It's not, it's not, it's baloney. You hear me? That's straight baloney. Marlon Negro don't go for baloney. Marlon Negro goes for a reliable car, that's cheap to run, that looks fly, and will last. This car is over 20 years old. The manufacturing carbon footprint of this has been offset time and time again. If I need parts for this thing, I can get spares old, new, second hand, wherever, wherever, not a problem. You, you can do that, Mr. Electric Car. You can do that, Mr. Tesla. You can work on that car outside the house. Is that what you're telling me? Is that what you're telling me? Because I think that's baloney. You come over here with your electric cars. Nobody, nobody, hard working, poor people can afford them. So they don't drive no more and they can't get to where they need to get to. You're gonna pile up all the fossil fuel cars. Where are you gonna put them? Where are you gonna put them? You're gonna have all those spare parts lying around. Who's gonna use them? Where are they gonna go? You're gonna bury them in the ground? You're gonna bury them, the fossil fuel cars in the ground? And then what? You're gonna lay off all these mechanics? Is that what you're gonna tell me? You're gonna make all these people, the scrap merchants, the parts dealers, the mechanics, you're gonna make all them redundant? Is that what you're telling me, Mr. Electric Car Man? And how are you gonna get these electric cars to and from places, huh? You're gonna put them on electric boats? You're gonna put them on electric trains? Yeah, you're gonna ship them out in bulk on electric boats all around the world? You're gonna put them on electric transporter lorries? I don't think so, Mr. Electric Car Man. I don't think so. So 
don't you be coming here telling Martin Negro that my car is bad for the environment. Bought and paid for me, over 20 years old. Using up diesel, which is a byproduct of plastic, which you use to make all the bits for your electric cars. So don't tell me, don't tell Martin Negro here that my car is not fit for purpose on the road. Don't try and impose your tolls on me, okay? I pay my I pay my emissions tax. I pay my offset to drive my car, my works vehicle, my classy over 20 years old. Thank you very much, Mercedes C-Class Diesel 2.2 Estate. Uh huh. So you pick up what I put down, Mr. Electric Car Man. You pick that up in your electric car. Whoa. Well, if it's over 300 miles away, you ain't gonna do it on a single charge, are you? No, sir. I just gotta fill the tank. And I can get to where I need to go any time of day. I don't have to stop and plug in and wait around, loiter around Lee Delamere or Membry or any of those other great service stations in our country. So there you go. I just came here to say that it's okay. It's okay to drive diesel drive diesel you ain't paying some white man schmuck to go out and round up a bunch of little kitties and sending them in the ground to dig up all that lithium all that lithium you know and I uh, Martin Negro don't like to get political I don't like to get political here's a Tesla now coming past me here's a Tesla now wow we wow we wow we wow we mr. Tesla man wow we don't you feel special? Wowee. Oh yeah, you think you're so cool, huh? Mr. Tesla Sky, Mr. Elon Musk. Yeah, ZCU. Yeah, I see you, ZCU. Z, that's what you are. At least this is C-Class. It's goddamn Z-Class. C-Class. Stay classy. Goddamn lithium barons. Goddamn lithium barons. Do you know uh, there's a huge cache of lithium right now? And I'm just throwing this out there. I ain't saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing. I'm just throwing this out there. If you pick it up, if you pick up what I'm putting down, that's on you. Not me. I'm just I'm just throwing this out there. Do you know where all the lithium is right now? A little place you might have heard in the Middle East called Afghanistan. Uh-huh. That turbulent shit show right now full of lithium. Elon Musk could be over there with his private Mars laser alien army in about five goddamn minutes if China don't get there first. I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm not saying that's what I think that's going to happen. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I ain't saying nothing. So I hope you pick that up. Like I picked my wife up. I ain't picking her up today though. I dropped her off back at the station. So excuse me if I'm a little edgy, you know? But it's hard to let go. It's hard to let go there of your wife, you know? She's a good egg. She's a, she's a good egg. She calms me down. She calms Martin Negro down, you know? So excuse me if I'm a bit edgy right now. I don't mean to be. Sorry, Mr. Tesla guy. You know, no judgment on you. All the consumers that think they're doing a good job around here, helping out the environment and whatnot. But you're being sold a lie being sold a big fat lie with a much bigger carbon footprint than any other vehicle being manufactured these days not just tesla specifically if you drive or buy an electric vehicle new you are buying into a lie i have never bought a new car no i keep old cars on the road i keep them out of that landfill out of the dump out of those dumpsters keep them on the road keep them ticking over mine a necro guarantee you know this is why I've sold so many motors in my time. Martin Negro's trusted in, in, in the second hand car world. Yeah. <laughs> true story, true story, true story. So that's Sunday Advice Day with Martin Negro there on the motorway. I'm heading back home now. I want to listen to some tunes. I want to listen to a, a bit of a, a bit of a, a bit of Sunday tunes, you know. And uh, uh, think about uh, think about uh, my my I think about uh, my wife sat sat here like she was 20 minutes ago, you know. So thanks for watching. 
make sure you uh, make sure you like what you see and uh, something about a bell or whatever and uh, please pay to again something I don't know the guy told me to say and uh, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll see you soon I'll see you soon uh, what I got YouTube is fucking daggy as shit I've ever heard.